Hello there, I am Giant Quo with Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we got to, we took on the Team Galactic building of the, uh, Team Galactic's Eterna building, or uh, Team Galactic's building in Eterna City. And we got a bicycle from the bicycle shop manager for rescuing him from Commander, Team Galactic Commander Jupiter. Jupiter had a skunk tank and a Zubat. Her skunk tank was big, very bulky, but for some reason it didn't give me much trouble this time around actually, so that's good. And um, we also went to around areas and used HM01 Cut. And we used HM01 Cut to get into the tournament building because there was trees planted in front of it. So yeah. Let's talk to um, this guy. I believe he's Don's. Uh, this is Don's father. Yes, yeah, Stephen. Long time no see. Oh, you looked puzzled. You wonder who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. I've come a long way to help you on your adventure in at the professor's... Uh, be hissed or something, yeah. <laughs> Steven, let, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Oh my, you've met 40 Pokemon. Wonderful, yes, bravo, Professor Rowan should be delighted. Here's something for you. We get the experience share, which is cool. It's a really good move, uh, really good move, really good item. Yeah. So, um, he'll probably explain it, yeah, okay. A Pokemon holding an experience share will be given some of the experience points from battle. It will get experience points even if it doesn't actually battle. I would say the inexperience is quite useful for raising weak Pokemon. Also, a Pokemon you get in a trade may disobey you if it's too high in level. Don't worry though, it will obey if um, you have enough gym badges. Yeah, we have two so we can um, so trade a Pokemon up to level 30 will obey um, me I guess you could say. And uh, they don't check for your bicycle, but when you exit the little transition building, you automatically get on your bicycle. So that's good that they don't want you to walk down a cycling road. Because <laughs> you need a bicycle and stuff, or prefer a bicycle. Um, yeah, Jet is up front. I don't need. I don't think I need to give the experience to anyone right now, so I'll skip out on it for now. Let's take on some battles. I think this guy has a Starway or Shinx or something like that. Yo, having a good time cycling? Yeah, Jetta took a lot of damage from the last battle, so I want to use um, some potions or something, you know? I have 12 potions, so I'll use a potion. I need just a couple of potions. So just two. Yeah, that's good. And yeah, cool. Full, uh, Jetta's back to full health at 51 HP again. Uh, that person did have a Star AV. I think this person though, will have a Shinx. I'm pretty sure. I worked up a great sweat riding. I'm feeling great. Let's battle. I had a feeling that that Shinx uh, may have known Sparks, so that's why I switched out to Inferno. But we'll never know because that Shinx only used Bite on uh, Inferno, so... Oh well, but Inferno grew to level 21 in that last battle. So that's pretty cool. Jetta will still remain at the front because she's still level 19. I want to get her up to level 20. Tied with the other... Tied with um, Karen and uh, Rose, I should say. Yeah, um, hey, watch where you're going. Or did you want to challenge me? I was like... I just cycled past you and you happened to make eye contact with me or something. You're about to see me. I didn't try to crash into you. Jeez. And yeah, we run into another wild Pokemon battle. Or not wild Pokemon battle, trainer battle. And um, I was really happy that the last turn had a Ponyta. It was really good for uh, Jetta to faint, you know. Two water guns, pretty cool. Um, you and I, are, we're both riding bikes. Now, we, n and now you've got Pokemon. I don't want to lose to you.
That last trainer also had a ponytail, which is really cool. Uh, your bike is the type that can shift gears, huh? Yes, it is. Uh, let's see if you know how to ride it properly. How does a Pokemon battle decide if I know how to ride a bike properly if you're just like standing and having a Pokemon battle? I don't know. It's all weird. Jetta grew to level 21 and learned um, Aqua Jet, which is a really good move. It's uh, let me look up the description. It's like 40 base power, but it's all it's it always goes first, and it's a water type move, so it's same type attack bonus. And I got rid of Quick Attack because I'd rather have Swift and Pursuit and Water Gun more than just Quick Attack, more than Quick Attack, because I know uh, Jetta is already fast enough, so I don't think I need Quick Attack right anymore, to be honest. Um, yeah, Aqua Jet. Um, Switch that with the water gun, yeah. But um, it's 40 base power, so it's not like the most powerful water type move, but it's still really good at this point of the game. Um, the user lunges at the foe at full sp at a speed that makes it almost inv invisible. It is sure to strike first. Yep. Yeah, water gun and uh, aqua jet have the power of 40. So yeah, I think water gun water gun's special and aqua jet must be physical. I think that would like. Uh, I forget what that's called, um, a little, like, it's in comics, but I forget what it's called. That little shape thing with all the, um, with all the, um, corners and everything, or vertices or whatever. Uh, that means it's physical, I believe. I'm pretty sure that means it's a physical move. And this, if this little eye thing, looking thing, it looks, means that it's special. Yeah, because Pursuit's physical and then Swift is special, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. So I'm going to switch um, Jetta with Karen now. And yeah, we'll continue on. I think there's like one or two more trainers on the cycling road that we haven't battled yet. Th yeah, one, two. Okay. So far, one and two. I see one and two more trainers. <laughs> A bicycle can only take you as far as your energy will allow. Well, my, t my character never gets tired, really. Honestly. <laughs> Well, that was a fairly simple fight. You just had a Zubat. Uh, here's another person or trainer, I should say. Uh, some people compete at over. S some people compete over speed, and some comp compete over technique. Which kind are you? Um, I guess technique, honestly. I'm not really good. F I'm not really not much for going fast. In that last battle, Karen grew to level 21 and learned Nightshade. I got rid of Astonish because Astonish only had the power of 30, but Nightshade um, does the equivalent of your um, your Pokemon who has the move um, based on the level. So for example, um, Karen's Nightshade will always do 21 HP on the opponent because Karen is currently level 21. So, to, so for example, there you go, I guess, if you want an exclamation. So yeah, I'm going to switch to... Um, Rose to be up the front, and because she is still level 20, and she's not level 21 like all the rest of my main Pokemon in my party. So yeah, I love my bike, but I'm not very good at fixing flat tires. Oh yeah, that's hard sometimes. Sometimes it can be sometimes it can be hard.
two things. One, that trainer, the last trainer had a Pikachu, which was really cool. And the second thing was, if you look really closely at the Pikachu's tail, then you might have saw that there's like a little triangle missing out of the tail. That means that it's a um, female Pikachu or a male Pikachu, like Ash's Pikachu in the anime. Or in like any male Pikachu in Pokemon Diamond Pearl Platinum, I guess you could say. Has um, just the triangle you know, not missing in the tail. So that's how you can tell between the male and the female uh, Pokemon sometimes. There's like this little difference. So yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think that's all I wanted to say. Unless I'm forgetting something. I mean, I don't know. If the, I'll think of it if I did forget to mention anything else. Yeah, Rose is still level 20. But, um, she's, it's just, wait, Rose is, okay, is Natural Cure Rose's ability? I forget. Yeah, natural cure. All status problems are healed upon switching out or ending the battle. So, like, that's cool because Bidu's uh, Rose is no longer paralyzed because, you know, that Pikachu just thunder wave on Rose in the last battle. So that's really cool. Uh, if you talk to this person, she'll give you a flag to put in your fashion case. What's a bicycle without this? You got to have a flag. It's a Pokemon accessory. We got the flag and it was put in the fashion case. There we go. It says it on screen now. Cool. So that's really cool. It's for contests. I'm gonna pick these two ber berry plants right here. I think they're cherry berries. Okay, of course they're raspberries made for for poffin ingredient, I guess. To making poffins. And then we'll pick these other two. Okay, just one raspberry each. Okay, so we got a total of two raspberries out of this little section. That's cool. And... Let's see here. Let's just cut these trees. Uh, I'm trying to avoid those while the time. Actually, now that I remember, there's a Pokemon I want to catch in this um, area, in this little part under Cycling Road. So, I don't know if it appears in the morning though, but we'll see if we can find it. I'll start searching for it now. Karen got poisoned in the last battle with, another, with a Skunky, I should say. So, I'm going to use an Antidote. And I'm going to use one Potion on Karen as well, just so she's in the green health range for HP. I'm still trying to find that Pokemon I want. We'll see if I can get it or find it. Okay, here it is. Yes. I want to actually use a bronze ore on my team this time around. I used it in one of my practice runs and one of my practice playthroughs, I guess you could say. And I really did like it. It's a really good Pokemon. Um, it's different, but you know, it gets that job done. I thought it was a really good Pokemon. So first I want to, um, I just want to use, uh, Rose's Stun Spore to paralyze it. And then I'm going to switch out to, um, I guess I can switch out to either Weasel or, um, or Jetta or Karen. I think I'm going to switch out to Jetta. Okay, Confuser. Okay, that's a really good move. I know it has Confuser, so that's awesome. So let's go to Bag. Or not Bag, Pokemon, and go to Jetta. I'm going to try one Aqua Jet, but hopefully it doesn't faint it. It shouldn't, but you know how critical hits go. It doesn't matter. They're random, and they can really be bad at sometimes. Okay, use Confuser on Jetta, too. Okay. This Bronzor is being smart, trying to confuse all my Pokemon. Aqua Jet. Okay, let's see if this Jetta, come on, let's do this. Yeah, it hits. So hopefully this doesn't faint it. I really hope it doesn't. Okay. Lots of critical hit. Jeez. I could use like two Aqua Jets and be okay. Okay, let's see here. Let's use Swift because I know Swift doesn't, since it's half Steel type, Bronze Warrior is Steel Psychic type, which is really good typing. So, yeah. And its ability, it has one or two abilities. Um, I don't think there's hidden, I don't think there's hidden abilities in um, this game, but um, the Bronze Warrior can either have the ability to levitate, which means it can't be hit by ground type moves or heat proof where it can't be hit by fire type moves and bronzo is only weak to um either ground or fire so that actually eliminates one of the two so that means that your bronzo is uh is only weak to one of the types of either uh, fire or ground which is really cool so let's see here um i'm gonna use an awakening so yeah 
a chest of bear. Well, I only have a chest of bear and I have um, two awakenings, so I'll just use one awakening. Because I need Jetta to um, use Swift at least once, you know? Just so I can have an easier time at catching this thing. It's already pretty. Yeah, Jetta's already confused, silly goose. Okay, Jetta snapped out of confusion. Swift attack. Now, I want to see how much this does. We'll use one more Swift. I don't think a critical hit would faint it. Oh my gosh, you're doing that hypnosis. Hypnosis is also a really good move, but it has low accuracy, but Confuser has like 100% accuracy or something like that, 90% accuracy. And it's way better than Supersonic, because Supersonic also confuses the foe, but um, it doesn't have as good of accuracy. So yeah. Just wake up Jedi again with an awakening. Realized they can't move. Okay, cool. And then let's use Swift. This should be good for catching it now. Yeah, okay, that's good. I don't want to risk um, a critical hit now. It's paralyzed again, okay. So let's use a Pokeball. Let's use, yeah, let's use a Pokeball. Let's try to catch this in a Pokeball. I have 13 of them, now I have 12. Because I just used one. One, two, three. Yeah, we caught it. Nice. I th I haven't thought of a nickname actually for this thing. Okay, um, it's number eighty-eight in the Pokedex. Its name is Bronzor, of course. The bronze, the bronze Pokemon, Steel Psychic type. Uh, it's it. It's um, one foot eight inches tall, and it weighs a hundred. It weighs a hundred and thirty-three point four pounds, and it's just that little, little um, wait, what is it? Um, a little hexagon shape thing. Yeah. Okay. Implement shaped like it were discovered in ancient tombs. It is unknown if they are related. Yeah. Would you like to give it name name to the Bronzor? Yes. Um, since Bronzor is genderless, um. I don't know what to name it. I'll have to think for a second. Okay, I thought of a name. I'm gonna name it Bronze. I know it's very generic, but um, it's just Bronze seems like a cool nickname. Cause wait, did I even spell Bronze right? Okay, B R O N Z E. I think Bronze. I can always change it if I misspell it back at the um, name reader in Eternity City. So it's not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna just name it Bronze. And yeah, we go with that. And I was transferred to the PC because I already have six Pokemon. Okay. That's cool. Um, let's just continue on then. I want to battle a couple more trainers on this route. So yeah. Here's an item. I, don't, I can't remember what it is. A burn heal. Cool. Nice. And over here is a couple of Rossberries, but I don't think they're ready to be picked yet because they're not fully done. They're not completely grown yet. They're not ready to be picked, I should say. Um, so, oh wait, they look like they're ready to pick, be picked. Rustberry is also heal, burn, just like the burn heal we just picked up. So they're very worth picking up, you know. You never know when your Pokemon will get burned and half its attack stat will be, um, gone, you know, because it's burned at the moment, I, sh I should say. Yeah, um, over here is a lot of grass. Dang it. And with that, Rose grew level 21, which is pretty cool. I was really hoping Rose will evolve soon, but here's a super power worth picking up. So yeah, um, let's see here, I, I, yeah, everyone's level 21 now, so that's cool. Um, I might just want to put a Pelon, just so I don't want to do any more white Pokemon for right now. I because I prefer not to. It's in the items pocket. Repel, I have eight of them, now I have seven. Pretty good. Here's the hiker dude. I think he has an Onyx and a Judy, if I were to guess. Whoa, you started me. Well, we may have, we may have, me, we may have as well battle. We may have, we may have as well battle.
Okay, so that hiker dude did have uh had two onyxes, which I don't I won't complain because onyxes are really good for experience in this part of the game, in my opinion, in my opinion. But you know, here's a poison bar, but it raises the power of poison type moves, so that's pretty cool. I don't although I don't have any poison type moves or poison type Pokemon, so I'll skip out on it for now. If you go like right under the bridge, like right in the middle, you'll have to find this way entrance to the Wayward Cave, and this is the basement. Part of the Wayward Cave, there's a different part of the Wayward Cave that we'll explore in the next part. But for right now, again, these boulders that can't be moved without an HM. Yeah, and we can't really go anywhere, and it's dark, and... Well, we can use Flash, but it really won't help because there's still the boulders, you know, blocking our way. So if we use Flash right here to light up the room. So we can't access this place till after a while, honestly. So we'll have to come back to it. So keep that, that keep in mind the, that existence of that part of the Wayward Cave. Um, by the way, the other entrance to the Wayward Cave is right here, but um, I want to go back and actually help my Pokemon and get um, Bronze out of the PC. And um, for the Wayward Cave, uh, since Bronze is like level, what level was Bronze? I think level 15 when we caught it. Um, I'm going to leave um, Inferno on the PC, even though all four of my main Pokemon are level 21. I'm still going to leave Inferno in the PC, because I want Karen and um, Rose and Jetta to all be part uh, to all have a good experience in the Wayward Cave and then I'll trade then I'll train uh, Inferno later up if I need to catch him up on levels so I'll catch back to um, the P the Pokemon uh, Center at um, Eterna City where I'm gonna go to the PC and which all bronze see you guys in a second okay right back here at the PC and the Eterna City Pokemon Center uh, let's use someone's PC of course and I don't want to do that. I want to move Pokemon actually. Not deposit. Move Pokemon. So Bronze Ore. Let's look at Summary real quick. Uh, Steel Psychic type of course. Um, it's a quirky nature. It um somewhat vain. Happily it's anything. That's pretty cool. Uh, levitate. Okay so it gives me to all ground type moves. So that means that this Bronze Ore won't be affected at all for any ground type moves. And its only weakness then is fire. If it had the ability heat proof, the only weakness it would be is ground. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I was happy to get either levitate or heat proof. I didn't really mind which one. Okay, so its attack is 12. Its defense is 33, which is really good. Its special defense is 34. Its special attack is 13. And its speed is 13. So that's pretty cool. You know, it's confusion, hypnosis, and prison. And confuse it. I think conf I think in prison means that like if you use it, it seals its own moves. So if you if your opponent happen to have the same moves, it can't use that move. I believe. Okay. If the foe knows any of the moves also known by the user, the foe is prevented from using it. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Confuse a power. Okay. Yeah, its accuracy is a hundred, and it, um just it confuses the opponent. You know, that's pretty cool. So yeah, let's take um bronze out of the PC. And I guess move, yeah. Party Pokemon. And let's switch out for um, Inferno, I guess. Uh, yeah. So Inferno will stay in the PC for just one part, basically. I'm pretty sure I can get through the for that part of the Wayward Cave in one part. So that's good. Um, one, other th one last thing I want to do before ending the part is I want to give the experience share to uh, Bronze. Because Bronze is only level 15 and everyone else is 6 levels high higher than him, so... Higher than it, I should say, because it's genderless. So yeah, there we go. Let me more organize the thing a little bit. Let's see, so repels can go above repels. Yeah, there we go. And other than that, wait, I need to heal my Pokemon, but I'll do that off screen. So yeah, so this has been the end of my Pokemon Mystery, uh, not Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide Part. And the next part will take on the Wayward Cave, hopefully in one part. So yeah, so this is Jericho again. I would like to play Magic again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide.